Hello everyone out there in the YouTube universe. I'm Carson Cunningham and welcome to my YouTube channel. I want to apologize for not showing my face very often because there were a few videos that I had to make because there are times where I have to promote stuff and uh, well, you didn't need to know all that. So anyway, with that aside, I wanted to say I hope you all had a very Merry Christmas and and Feliz Navidad and uh, Happy Hanukkah and whatever kind of holiday you celebrate during Christmas time. I hope everyone was doing very well and healthy. And well, I want to say that I hope you had a healthy and good Christmas because I know I did. I will admit this year was been very tough for us, you know, because of the you know what. Until next year. When everything is all sorted out, everything will go back to the way it was. Anyway, I hope any of, all of you have gotten what you wanted for Christmas. I know I did. So in this special video right here, I'm going to show you what I got for Christmas. But before we get started, I just want to say a few things. I'll be going through my gifts in order of what I got through each day before Christmas and after Christmas and there'll probably be a few jump cuts that you saw right about now so so just bear with me and, and uh, as we go through this I can show you what I've got well, anyway let's get started so to start off for those of you who don't know that I have this ongoing tradition that uh, where Santa Claus always comes to my house, but as our family expanded, we still keep that tradition going by sending it back to Grandma's house. So, this year we didn't do it because of, well, the pandemic. Uh, the pandemic, sorry. I meant, I always have a hard time saying what I want to say. So, this first gift that Santa got me might surprise you. I'm pretty sure the hype thrusters will be set to overdrive if I show you this. That's right. I have got me the classic National Lampoon's A Christmas Vacation starring Chimmy Chase. Well, you probably can't see it because, because of all the lighting and all that stuff, you know. But maybe you can see it fine, I think. Pretty cool. I think I might want to watch this myself. Uh, let's see. Oh, here it is. Here's the packaging. The, the slot, I mean. Anyway. And what I got on Christmas Day is next. Right here, I got me some King Art Artist Mixed Media Gel Sticks. All 24, six colors. Yep. I've heard these were pretty good, so I think I might try them someday. What I also got is some Betty Crocker Best Quick Flavor Bursting Chocolate Chip Pancake Mix. And it comes with the Nestle Toll House Mini Chocolate Chips. I thought it would be very cool to make me some pancakes one of these days. Right here I got me a Yeti thermos and the Yeti lid with some drinking straw so I think I might want to use these one of these days. Also right here is the Sony WF-1000XM3. These are noise cancelling headphones. Yep. I, I thought it would be a good idea to get one of these so I can block out the noises that I don't like. And uh, here's the case. Well, you probably can't see them because it's very dark. So here's one of the uh, few examples of these. Yep, I thought it would be pretty cool to have one of these. I mean, these are ten times more, it's more better than... 
the WH mod because I got them at Best Buy before because, well, that's another story. Well, anyway, right here I got me a flex mount, flex mount uh, hands-free mobile phone. It's a neck mount. You can hang this over your neck so you can watch um, and listen to your favorite uh, things you do on your iPhones. So you don't need, no longer use your hands while you're going out for a drive and all that kind of stuff. Well anyway, with, all, with that all that out of the way, I've shown you what I got from Santa and what I got on Christmas Day. So, just uh, give me a few seconds to... Uh... Oh no, wait, never mind, never mind. I, I think I got them. Next up, from the stuff I got from Grandma's. First off, I want to show you this. Again, it's very dark, so you're not able to see this because it's, well, you know. It's Super Mario, New Super Mario Brothers U Deluxe. I want to tell you that this game was been ported in many different ways. First off, you do have the original release on the original Wii U. And... A year later, which is the year of Luigi, 2013, and probably one of the most horrible years for me, but we'll, we'll, I don't want to talk about it, so, but besides that, well, which is New Super Luigi U, which is crossed out with the brothers, because he X out the brothers part there. And now we have this port released last year. Which is New Super Mario Brothers U Deluxe that combines the two. Also, I got this. I got right here. This is a Nintendo Switch carrying case. It has some very interesting things. Well, not interesting. Well, well, there are interesting things. They have a little. Uh, a protective sheet where you could cover up your screen and also a little cloth where you can clean your screen all nice and clear but the downside is if you can see right here it's basically a switch it's for a switch light Sadly, I only have the original Nintendo Switch, so I never owned a Switch Lite. But thanks to my card sellings, well, I've been selling some Christmas cards lately, not too long ago. So I might have enough money to buy myself a Switch Lite one of these days, but not now, maybe next time. So, on to the next gifts. Now for my second batch of gifts, I got me some DVDs and some other stuff from my Grandma Cunningham. If you saw the last gifts were from my Grandma Row, Norma Row. These, these gifts right here are from my Aunt Misty and my Grandma Sharon Cunningham. So to start off, I got me right here the complete series of the adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. Well, well, here's the spine. You probably can't see it. Here's the front. Here's the back. And also, I do want to mention one thing. That, uh, you see this right here? You probably can't see it very clearly. This right here is the... Hold on. I think I... Mm, right here is the incredible world of Geek. You know, Geek Entertainment. The, the animation studio that produced the show. And also, they produced the Super Mario Super Show, which is another produced by Dink Entertainment. As you can see, this is a video game based series, you know. Anyway, I will say that uh, Dink Entertainment was disfunct since 2008 because they merged with Cinar 
a Canadian animation studio to form Cookie Jar. So anyway, I will admit that whoever whoever was doing the editing on this cover, putting in the Deke Entertainment logo, whoever you are, that was pretty good. Also got me Mighty Mouse, The New Adventures. And for those of you who don't know who Mighty Mouse is, he's a cartoon character created by Paul Terry at Terry Tunes. He's created as a parody of Superman. And as you can see right here, this is from 1987. This is a 1987 TV series created by Ralph Batchy, who is best known for adult animation for like Fritz the Cat, Heavy Traffic, Wizards, and many more. What's most interesting that uh, this show has plenty of people who worked on the show, and you might recognize some of these names, like... Uh, John Chris Velusi, who's best known for creating the Ren and Stippy show. Uh, Andrew Stanton. Andrew Stanton, I mean, who is best known for his work with Finding Nemo and uh, Wally from Pixar at Disney. And we also got Jim Reardon from The Simpsons. Sorry I couldn't say those right. Well, also, this one's a very good classic. I definitely wanted this ever since, uh, well, you know, when I first seen it since 2015, which is uh, the movie's uh, 50th anniversary, The Sound of Music. It's one of the best movies created by 20th Century Fox. I will say Julie Andrews is a very interesting delight, you know. My first exposure to her was in the Disney movie, Mary Poppins. As we got right here is the first Pink Panther movie, starring Peter Sellers and uh, David Niven. And as you can see right here, this, this case is very, very different. As you can see right here, the G rating right here, it's actually not from this country. This was released from another country, which is a region for the Australian and New Zealand markets. Well, anyway, I don't know how they got this confused with... Well, never mind. That side, um, I want to show you something very cool. If you can't hear on the clinging, I got me... A Mickey Mouse plane. As you can see right here, this is a, it's actually a model sheet drawn by Don Tolley. To uh, these were drawn back in when, uh, well, you know. These are model sheets from the Walt Disney Studios. So, as you can see right here, this, this, this Mickey Mouse in every single pose. Well, it's uh, very hard to explain, but, well, you probably want to understand what I'm saying anyways. So, here's another one, which is a uh, miniature. I also got the same thing with these cups here. Also got me a Mickey Mouse mug. Wouldn't be complete without the ears. <sighs> Pretty good. And and that's basically it. Well, I apologize for all what I what just happened there I, I really couldn't explain it all I'm not really good at explanations of 
what these things are and how they came to be and uh, I really hope you understand even though I'm autistic and I'm really good at everything but what I'm not good at is explaining lots of things in full detail well what I didn't show you is because that I got some more food and some clothing like uh, shirts pants and uh, other stuff like candy and uh, and plenty of scratch off tickets well I do get plenty of scratch off tickets from for Christmas well anyway it's it's very hard to explain I, I hope I hope all of you enjoyed this video because I hope you understand what I'm going through because or what I explained, you know. I'm not really good at uh, going full detail with all the stuff I had here. Well, maybe a few of them, but not so much by the, all of them. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, like I mentioned before. I really hope you liked the gifts I got. And I hope all of you enjoyed the gifts that you got. I hope all of you had a Merry Christmas as much as I did. I hope you have also a Happy New Year as well. I mean, it's been pretty rough throughout this year, and I hope everything will get back to normal as we reach the new year. So, anyway, I hope you have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I'm Krusty Cunningham, and I'll see you all next time. Bye. By the way, I do want to mention a few things that I lacked from my gifts that I was talking about with you guys. Going back to Mighty Mouse The New Adventures, the complete series box set includes three original Mighty Mouse cartoons from the original Terry Toon Studios. And also, going back to these, I will say that I can imagine someone using these for the first time. When they hold it close to their ear like this, as you can see right here, they think it's going to be one of those headphones that are very cruddy and doesn't have any bass, you know? Just like those headphones I mentioned before. However, when they put them close to their ear like this all the way, they've been proven wrong. These have lots of bass and they can hear it very clearly. I know it's very silly to mention something like that I mean it wouldn't happen I mean anyone would never do something like that I thought it'd be very cool to mention it well anyway